Hi there, my name is Robert Gordon and I'm trying to reduce my impact on the environment by cutting plastic out of my life. Hi, I'm Tamsin and our family is trying to live without owning our own car. Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, I'm Milo. And, and we've, we've given, given up, up flying. flying. I decided to try and reduce my plastic a few summers ago um, by completely going plastic free and I found it incredibly difficult. Um, and then since then I've tried to aim for more realistic goals of only cutting down on non-recyclable plastic. Sometimes there can be a big upfront cost, whether that's time or money, but by making changes gradually, for example, when you need to replace your toothbrush, replacing it with a bamboo one rather than a plastic one, then gradual changes like this over time can make the transition much more manageable and you're still having that positive environmental impact. Yeah. It is very positive when I see other people making similar changes. It makes me feel less alone and a lot more hopeful for the future of the world that we live in. Hello. So we found as a family that there are three main benefits to not actually owning our own car. We've saved a fortune, probably around £2,000 a year. Um, the second one is health. So we're walking everywhere or we're cycling to places. And the third one is probably the lack of stress. So we just do not have to think about congestion and traffic jams and where to park. We thought that not only a car would be much more of a challenge than it's proved to be. On balance, over the last 15 months, it's going okay. And the truth is, we haven't really missed the car at all. Um, yeah, you do that and then I'll do it then, yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. 12 years ago I came back from a conference and I thought I can't keep flying like this and I was doing some teaching on climate change and I thought if I'm going to practice what I preach I'm going to have to give up flying. We can't keep flying when the government's saying we've got to reduce carbon emissions. Because we don't fly anymore we, we get the train, we get the boat, and we go on cycling holidays and we have a fantastic time as a family. We go to the Netherlands every year on a boat and I really 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 enjoy going on a boat and flying gives us lots of pollution and obviously pollution is not a good thing because it's destroying the earth. I think one of the problems after Covid is that there's a real risk that carbon emissions are going to go through the roof so I think this is a great opportunity for us all to look at our travel patterns especially by plane and say can we replace a few journeys.